Hi, this is Yadira from El Club de las Diosas and today I'm going to show you how to do a coloring book using Canva and this coloring book is going to be an 8 and a half by 11 and there's two different ways that we can do this a very very simple and I'm going to show you both of them as you know Canva does have two different versions one is the free uh, basic plan and the other one is a pro so I'm going to leave um, the link below so you can get that um, first and foremost we're gonna go ahead and get started with clicking on customize size switching to inches and drawing 8.5 and 11 to start off the page now um, as you can see the page is already been set and is ready to go and ready to create your coloring pages so as an example for today's purpose I'm going to utilize um, one of the niches which is a very popular one is the unicorn niche so we'll see what it appears under unicorns for Canva. Canva has so many designs available that is great to use not only for inspiration but also to create your coloring pages. So first and foremost, as you can see, um, these templates, because I have the pro version, have already been populated for me. Um, so what is great about these templates is the fact that some of these have already have the amount of pages that I'm looking for. And it's very, very minimal changes that I need to do to these, um, which is fantastic, right? It saves time. It saves a lot of trouble. However, it doesn't matter which you know template you use you still need to make your personalization right you you cannot use as is and this goes with any design that you purchase or you use whether it is through canva creative fabrica which i will leave uh, the link below whatever you use that somebody else has created you have to go ahead and and redesign in this case i selected the unicorn cat and as you can see it already has 27 pages which is fantastic the minimum amount of pages that um, Amazon KDP allows is 24 so this has three extra pages again this is part of the pro version so I'm gonna click on apply all 27 pages and what it will do it will populate all of these 27 pages um, it will create them all which is again saving time saving money you know time is money as you all know um, and you can open up the preview so you can see how all of these images are pre-populated in here and you can take a look at them sometimes I if there's one design that I don't like I, I can just go ahead and select and delete but so far I like what I see now this is where the fun begins right as I mentioned you cannot just use as is you got to personalize it you got to do some things to it so first and foremost we're gonna remove name and date because we don't need it right we are going to then take advantage of the space that is on the top and move the title so we can have a little bit more space um, into the page and then obviously personalize it the way that we want to. I love the title um, Unicorn Cat, which I think is a lot of fun, right? Um, but now that we have space, we can move a little bit to the design um, and just, again, just centralize it in a different way. Um, something else that you can do is, is change the text which i will do in this case and in, instead of using more sugar uh, font i'm going to use this one as called intro script Ooh, i like the look i think i'm going to make it a little bit bigger and i think i'm going to use this subtitle as well in the same format so far looking good i personally um, like to add borders to my pages and they're a very quick way to do so um, there's this box that already has a, uh, a border but as you can see it's a bit thick for my likeness I like um, I like it to be a little bit thinner um, I think it gives a, a little bit of a flair and different vibe when you have uh, uh, a border like this so I selected this one and as you can see it truly truly frames the design into the page making it uh, very classy very different and again, making the page itself to look very, very professional. Um, here's another trick. Obviously, since I changed the top, 
of the very first page you gotta do it with the rest of the pages um, and the way and the easy way to do this is you can go ahead and select all of the elements that you want to incorporate in the consequently pages um, and you can literally just copy paste into the next one just like that and you will continue to do that on and on into the following pages all the way up to a point where um, you can just have them all set and done very very simple you see the difference when you add the border um, let's compare right with border without a border big difference it makes it looks very very professional and that's what we want right we want a very unique design um, into uh, what we have another thing that you can do is also add more elements to the page right uh, maybe more balloons maybe more stars maybe more hearts you know the sky is the limit in here which is what I love about Canva now um, one thing that I love to do uh, for my coloring books is to add an intro page so in this case as you can see I pull over uh, some of the elements from the other page and I'm gonna go ahead and select um, some elements to create uh, this page. I always like to include um, a design similar to the ones that are um, on my coloring pages. In this case, obviously, a unicorn. I'm going to add a subheading um, in here. Um, this is something, again, that kids love to see. They want to personalize their own books. Uh, so everybody know that this, bon this book belongs to so-and-so, right? Um, and in order for them to be able to add their own name into the book and again personalize it I'm just gonna go ahead and um, add this dotted line in here that way they can just go ahead and sign it I'm gonna make this a bit smaller centralize it and there you have it you have an intro page with um, additional pages for your coloring book once you're ready you click on PDF print and download and you are ready to upload into KDP um, and obviously make sure that you um, put a title into your design so that way when you're pulling it you know exactly which version and the name of the file that you're pulling it so as you can see this is one way to do it again saving time utilizing their own templates but now I am going to show you how to do one from scratch right um, so again, utilizing the same inches, eight and a half by 11, and utilizing the same theme, unicorn. So we go into elements and we search unicorn. We wanna see what is out there. As you can see, there's a lot of color unicorns and the majority of these were, were not able to modify and make, make it black and white, which is very, very hard to do. Um, and in this case, I want to show you a trick. So let's say you like this design from this particular designer. All you got to do is click on the I for info. Um, select unicorns to see how many unicorns he might, he, this person, he or she, might have under their designs. And it's, it, it's not that many. And it's not enough um, to be able to recreate at least 25 pages minimum, right? So, oops, I'm sorry for the circle. Uh, so we want to go back search unicorns again or unicorn sorry can't spell <laughs> it happens when you're trying to fat to type fast right okay so let's see what it what else is out there that is black and white that perhaps and as you can see I selected this one because I wanted to show you that there's no way to make that one black and white um, in this particular scenario so I'm gonna go ahead and select this one make it a little bit bigger I'm gonna click on the eye and see if this particular designer has more of this uh, these type of unicorns because I like them right perhaps it does have some more it doesn't have that many but um, I think I might be able to let me just go ahead and do another search I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything for this particular designer um, no, nope. I'm going to go ahead and back to the main page and select from these designs. Again, open up another page. I'm going to select this one, making it a little bit bigger. Um, that one is a bit different than the other one. And I'm going to like this one as well. Out of the third page. 
Um, and again, this is building a book from scratch, utilizing the elements that are already existing within Canva. Now, unicorn, great, but I would like to personalize it with other designs, right? Rainbows, they go really well with, with um, unicorns. So I'm gonna add a rainbow in here. Wanted to see if making it bigger um, and switching things around. Uh, maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller keep it in here in the meantime let's look for hearts hearts they go really well with um, unicorns see different kinds of hearts I think I like this one I'm gonna add it in the corner and I'm gonna make it a bit smaller in here and then this one I'm gonna go ahead and change the color to make it more uniform because it looks like all of these they have different black so we want to be able to change it and uh, I always like to do use um, dark gray just to make it uh, look more professional and as you can see it already has uh, a nice professional look to it um, and you can add any kinds of designs that you can want on the other pages it's totally up to you this is just free styling um, into uh, a design um, I went ahead and kind of like turned the rainbow to be a little bit different again love adding uh, adding borders uh, my preference you don't have to but I think it gives again that a personalized or a professional look that is that is a little bit different like I said, it, you know, it's completely up to you, the type of elements that you want to add, the type of theme. Canva has a lot of different designs included as part of their pro program. You do have some under the free, but obviously, you know, there's a big difference when you have a, a the, the paid version. Um, as you can see, you know, there's so much more that you can do um, to them be able to create your own coloring books. Um, and again, once you're done, all you have to do is click on download and download your designs. Very simple, guys. So I just show you how to do a coloring book, eight and a half by 11 in Canva, utilizing a unicorn theme. Please leave a comment if you like to see videos like this or if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe. Always welcome.